everyone, it's the Wise Bubbler, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom dropdown in Bubble for the edge of <clears throat> repeating group items. So something that looks like this. So you can edit and delete, for example, tasks in our checklist app. So let's get started. So first of all, you go to your editor and create a new reusable element. We'll call this Reu uh, Dropdown. The next thing we're going to do is click Create and upgrade it to the new response that in. Click Upgrade. Perfect. Afterwards, we're going to take the reusable and take away the background and make it a column and the width will be 50 and height will be 50. Perfect. Now the next thing we want to do is actually put in a clickable group. So we're going to put a group in here and we'll call this group clickable dropdown. Clickable. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is actually switch out this group and change it to a line to parent because we're going to want to put our icon inside that actually shows the three dots here. So we're going to center this and make it uh, unlimited width and take off the min height and make it not fit the content. So it will just cover the entire reusable. Afterwards, we'll take an icon. I like to use feather icon and put it in here and make it 30 by 30. Perfect. And we can see it's centered. And the next thing we wanted to actually do is set up the logic um, and add a, the actual dropdown element of it. So we want to add this box over here. So we're going to go back and add a focus group. A focus group actually just sticks to a specific element. So right now it doesn't have an element to stick to, but we can group clickable dropdown. We can see that it sticks to this element. Now, since we have some space between the icon and the dropdown, we'll make the offset top zero and the offset left will make 100, oh, minus 100. And then we will make the width of this, we will make it a column and change its width to 150. There we go. And we will change its, we'll leave its mid height for now. Afterwards, we will go in and choose two groups. The first group is for editing, and we'll make its height, let's make it 60, 50 is okay, 50, and we'll make it a row, and have its width be unlimited, because we want to make this as if it was a button. Um, afterwards, we need to put in the text of this clickable button, and so we will choose a text input, and I will make the size of the text 20. So let's first center it vertically, Make it unlimited width. Its minimum width should be zero, and its minimum height should be zero. And then I will change the text size to 18, so we can see it a little better. And I'll write in here using BB code. I can actually center the text over here, and I will write um, edit. And then I'll center it again. Uh, forgot brackets here. So BB code is kind of a coding language you can put inside of text element to help do things like centering the text. Um, afterwards, I will copy this. Well, I'll change the style of it to the style of the button I would be interested in. So I created a group group button reasonable, and that will show that it's clickable when you actually hover over it. And then I will copy that and just click delete. Um, and the last thing is we can see that we have some white space here. And the reason is when we click on this and go to the layout, you can see that there's a minimum height. So if we take off this minimum height and keep the fit height content, we can see that it collapses that height. The last thing we need to do is actually create the opening and closing of this group focus when we click on this group on group clickable dropdown. So to do that, we're going to create a workflow and we're going to make a, actually, before we get started, we're going to take this group focus and one moment, we're going to add a custom state. If you don't know what custom states are, leave a comment in the bottom of this video and I'll create a video for that. So instead of calling it group focus A, let's call it group focus dropdown review. Reusable, that's just a naming convention I have. And if I go here to this question box, I can actually create a state where I can store temporary data. So we're going to store here visible question mark, and we're going to change this type to yes, no. So now, and so when we, when we click on this group over here, we actually want to change that state to when this um, focus group is visible, we want to change it to visible. When it's not visible, we want to change it to not visible. So let's click here and say, okay, set state of an element. Um, so actually, before we do that, we want to check whether um, focus groups drop down review visible is no. So if it's not visible, then we're going to actually show this focus group. I'm going to show focus group drop-down review, and we're going to set its state. So we're going to set its state to being actually visible. And the same is true in the opposite case. So I'm going to copy this workflow, paste it in here. And I'm going to say when group focus reusable visible is yes, and I'm actually going to hide a reusable. I'm going to click hide an element. And focus group, I'm going to hide this focus group that shows us the options. And I'm going to set the state to no. Now let's go back to our actual app. And the last thing before we move on is we want the actual icon to be the icon we saw previously. So we want it to be more, and I just know this, you can go to feathericons.com 
to actually find it. So there you go, more vertical. Um, so you can see that there, and now it should be all ready. So let's go back to our home page and actually drop that in here. So let's go and find our reusable dropdown and then put it in here. I'm actually gonna make it fixed width and height because we know that it needs to be 50 by 50. So let's do 50 by 50. That's what we defined previously. And we're gonna center it vertically and add a bit of padding. So let's say 10 pixels of padding on the left so it's not so flush with the text here. Um, and then we can go and test it out. There you go. Now you can see we have a fully functioning drop down in our app. If you like this video, check out the rest of my videos. And if you want access to my editor, as usual, I dropped a link in the description where you can buy access. Thanks for watching.